Hey guys, I just want to show um, you guys a way to measure the lift and duration on a set of cans that uh, you may have just gotten. Um, whether you have the can specs or not, it's just a way to set it up and measure, verify. Um, you know, sometimes you may get a set of cans that you don't know what they are. This is a, a good way to. Um, you know measure the specs and then compare it to uh, something and to determine what set of cams do you have um, let's get started so the setup here is just a simple setup time belt wrapped around the uh, cam gears they're on stock cam sprockets so don't worry about them um, the protractor I printed and taped on one of the cam gears is just arbitrary it's not in sync with anything uh, you'll see the pointer is not at zero but that's not the point here we are only it's only there to find the degrees so we can uh, calculate the duration and these dial gauges here will will calculate the lift it's uh, set to zero uh, backlash so uh, that's where you want it at and uh, let's get started so we'll start with the exhaust side here and what we want to do is um, the set of cams in here are skunk 2 pro 1 series so i do have the specs i just want to show it here so the specs given at 50 thou lift are 255 for duration for both um, intake and exhaust cams so we'll see if we can uh get close to the duration and the lift given for uh, the intake is um, you know 500,000 slift and for the exhaust is 469,000 slift so we'll we'll see if we are close to those values and verify these cams okay so we'll start on the exhaust side <clears throat> and as we rotate we'll take note until the exhaust lifts off the seat to about 50,000 that's where we'll, we'll take our first reading. So we'll go to 50 thou here. Our first reading is about 64. We'll take, say 64 degrees. And then now we'll keep going until we uh, reach peak lift, which should be about 468, 469. So we'll go 1, 200, 300. 469 so we'll write that down 469 inches 470 469 70 and we'll go back until it closes and stop 50,000 before 2 3 4 and we'll stop here and our Degree is 190, so we came to an end 190. So what we'll do is take the difference of those two numbers, which is 190 minus 64, 126. We double that to get the duration at the crankshaft times two, so that's 252 degrees. So we've calculated 252 degrees of crankshaft duration and the specs given is 255 which is close enough this is probably due to uh, wear on the cam or you know my setup isn't really all that precise it's just to give a general idea where it's at these are a set of used cams so uh, there's wear on them now let's go and let's do it for the uh, intake side so we'll start from the beginning Okay, and then we'll keep going until the valve lifts off the seat to 50 thou. So we'll keep going. It's going to take a little bit. Uh, and here it goes, and we'll stop. We'll, we'll stop at, 50, at 5. Right there is good enough. 100, let's say 170. So the first is 170. Now we'll keep going and find the max lift, which is uh, about 500 thousandths. 
So, one, two, three, four, uh, five. So it's 500. Uh, keep an eye on the right gauge. That's the one we're looking at on the intake side. So we verified the the lift. So let's go. Keep going. One, two, three, four, and we're going to stop fifty thousandths before it closes. Uh, I can go back a little bit. Okay, right there. So two two ninety seven. So we'll take the difference of those two numbers. 297 minus 170 and uh, it equals 127 <clears throat> we'll double that in the value and we get 254 degrees of crankshaft duration and for the intake it is also 255 which we verify that these are pro two pro one cams and there you have it guys uh, like and subscribe comment below let me know um, how you like the video and I'll see you guys again thanks